it's Callie from the Crafty Girls and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet. It is my own invention and I call it the Midnight Shine bracelet. And so let's get started. So for my outline I'm going to be using white. For these background bands I'm going to be using purple. And for these bands I'm going to be using gold. All these supplies are available at the Rainbow Loom web store. And you can use any kind of loom as long as it can set in the staggered configuration. And make sure your arrows are pointing away from you when you start. And you will need one hook. It doesn't matter what brand, but I just prefer to use rainbow loom. And let's get started. So first, you're going to take your border and place one here. And this is the same border for the citrus bracelet. So. If you have made that, then you will know how to do this border. Now we're going to go up two, and then in, and repeat on the other side. And now just do that all the way up your loom. And if I'm ever going too fast, then just pause the video, and then when you're ready, just play again. And if I'm going too slow, then just fast forward. And you should be able to make four ovals on your loom. If you can only make three, or if you can only make like three and a half, then you are doing something wrong. So play back the video and just start again to make sure you're doing it right. And now when you're done with that, just push all your rubber bands down. And now, we are going to be making these rubber bands right here. So take one gold rubber band, place it from the bottom peg, and go up to this peg. And now do the same on the other side. And just make a diamond. So go from here up to the middle. Here up to the middle, like that. And now just continue that all the way up the loom. This is not a complicated design, but I do not recommend this being the first bracelet you learn. I would learn something more simple like a fishtail or a triple single first. And do not let your rubber bands overlap because that will make it very hard to loop. And then when you're done with that, just push all your rubber bands down. Now we're going to do these yellow rubber bands. So what you're going to do, this part's really simple. You're just going to start at the bottom and make a single chain all the way up your loom in the middle. Now you're done with that, just push all your rubber bands down. 
and your loom should look like this. And now, add your cap band at the end of your loom, and flip your loom, and it's time to start flipping. So go under the cap band and this purple rubber band, and grab the top gold rubber band. And just bring it over to itself. And then do that same thing again. And now go under these two gold, grab the bottom gold, pull it up to itself. And do the same on the other side. Now go under the purple, grab the top gold, pull it to itself. And if you're doing the same pattern as I am, just be very careful because these metallic bands do snap easily, so just be really gentle. If you're using more stretchy rubber bands, then still be careful, but you don't have to be as careful when you're looping. And now what I'm done with that, push all those rubber bands down. And these rubber bands will be very tense, so just be careful. Now, go under the cat band, grab the purple band, and pull it over. And it will be a little bit different because you've already flipped these, but it's okay. Now go under the white. Grab the purple and flip over and just continue that all the way up your line. And now just push all those rubber bands down when you're done. And now that you're done with that, you're going to go under your cat band, 